Well, I'll have to give you the name of this park when we get back to the van and I can look it up again. But there's some definite stoneworks here. You see Layla and I standing on some. Some type of uh, cylinder, tank. Some more stoneworks through the trees over there. Let's see if we get a little closer look. There we go. And then across the way, definite stoneworks. And I'm standing on top of a little rock ledge or wall. And directly across from me is another rock ledge or wall that, I don't know, may have been used to direct water. I'll turn on around here and let you see the other. That's looking to my immediate right along this wall. Um, gee, I don't know what this place was. Kind of curious. Some nice high stone ledges up there. There we go. A little closer in on them. Sorry it's shaky. We were walking the dogs and this is kind of impromptu and handheld. Well, those are some massive rocks in that in that piece of rock work. I'm going to try to go up there and see if I can see anything on the okay. other side. We had a little climb to get up through the weeds and brambles to the top of this. And you can see it's a very definite rock wall, perhaps some kind of a dam. Well, we're following a little path. Layla, come back, get out of Mama's way, let her walk. And it's a very narrow path. The rock wall, if this was an earthen dam, oh my goodness, it looks like it may have uh, dammed up a spring at one time. Very, uh, yes, look at there. We're going to investigate what we got here. Oh my. Looks like a, uh, I don't know, can't imagine what this was unless maybe it was a location for a gate to control the water flowing out of, uh, out of this spring hole. Very much looks like a spring. Let's see if I can zoom in here, hold the dog, zoom the camera. Yeah, yeah, we can do it all. Come on, focus. You can see the little stream there. Sorry, it's a little out of focus. But uh, the little stream appears to be starting back up in there, in that rock cropping. So apparently this whole area is uh, was dammed up to create some kind of large pool. Or at least maybe to create some headwaters for something. And that would explain... If it was being used for a mill or such, that would explain why there would be a portion here that you could control the flow out of the holding pond. Okay, so Brendan and Liberty are taking a little break down there. And just to give you an idea of the size of these rocks, look at that. And that's about the average size of the rocks that were used in constructing this wall. Not really sure what this wall is, but it's very curious to be out here. I can't wait to get a little research in and then uh, maybe put together, put together a little something on the blog.